Welcome back. We are now on the sixth video in my How to Tell Time series. We started at the very basics, and now we're going to go even more advanced, learning to count in fives. Right, so this clock is divided up, you can see, from 12, and all the numbers go all the way around, starting from 1 back to 11, and then 12 again. And we're going to have to count in fives to see where our minute hand is and how we're going to get there to tell the time. But we first have to just show you how you're going to count in fives. You're going to count in fives from 12. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now, I'm assuming that if you are in this lecture, you know how to count in fives. You've learned your five times table. Counting in fives is easy. So let us practice some time with using our five times table. Let's put a minute hand in and let's say, okay, it's going to point at the two. Now in the past, let me first just rub that out and show you what we've revised, what we've done before. We've known that if it points there, it's an o'clock. Hey? So that would be five o'clock. We know that if it points to the three, it's quarter past. So it would be quarter past five. We know if it points to the 6, it's half past, that would be half past 5. And we know if it points to the 9, that's quarter 2, that would be quarter to 5. But now what happens if it points at the 2 instead? Well, this is where we start using counting in 5. So we start at 12, remember, so we're going to go 5, 10. So we're going to say then it's 10 past 5. 10 past 5. Let's do a few more so you can practice with them. Let's put that minute hand maybe here on the 8. So let's start counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 minutes past 5. Okay. Let's look on the next screen. Let's put one in here. Maybe we can put it like that. Okay, so let's start counting. We've got to count all the way to the minute hand, which is the black hand, the long one. We start at 12 at all times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, that's the 11. So it's 55 minutes past 10. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Where should we put our minute hand? Should we put it um, on the four here? Yeah. No, let's make it on the five. Okay, so let's start counting to our minute hand. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five minutes past. Which hour is it pointing at? Two. Twenty-five minutes past two. Okay, so we're learning about past in this, this lecture. We're going to count the minutes past. We'll learn about minutes two in the next one. So let's become really good at this. Let's do a few more to practice. Let's make it point at the eight. We're just going to keep it for simplicity purposes, pointing at the same hour. Um, right, so now how are we going to get to the eight? We're going to count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 minutes past 2. Okay, are you getting the picture? So you've got the idea now how you're going to count in fives to say your time in past. So this, if you had to write it out, would be 40 minutes past and then you look at which hour it's pointing at with a short hand, the 2. Okay, and you counted your 40 minutes by counting in fives from 12. Let's look at the other ones and we write them out. Yeah, we had, we counted in fives, we got to 11, it was 55 minutes past 10. 55 minutes past and then the hour it's pointing at you is 10. And you counted your 55 minutes from 12 all the way around the clock. And this one we said was 40 minutes past, what's the hour? 
this one here, it's a 5. And you counted your 40 minutes from 12 until you got to 8, where the minute hand was. Okay, so it's quite easy. You just need to practice this a lot. And over here, you're going to see a subscribe button. If you like what you see, press it. Join us on this journey. I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube for maths. On my channel, Teacher Cecile, I would love to take you on the journey with me. See you in the next lecture where we're going to discuss the other way of telling from 12 in the opposite direction.